ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It is time! YouTube salute. Here to give you my breakdown and fight prediction of the World Junior Lightweight Championship Saturday, November 9th on ESPN Plus. Jamel Herring versus Lamont Roach Jr. for the WBO World Junior Lightweight Championship. Okay, okay, okay. Shout out to both camps. Um, top rank is putting on this event and ESPN. So let's start with the challenger, Lamont Roach Jr., from Washington, D.C. He has 19 wins, zero losses, seven KOs, one draw, a 35% KO percentage. He's five foot seven. He has a 68 inch reach and he stands in the orthodox position. The champion, the WBO, the WBO champion, Jamel Heron has 20 wins, two losses, 10 KOs, zero draws, 45% KO percentage. He's 5'10", lanky, 69-inch reach, and he stands in a soft paw stance, and he's from Cincinnati, Ohio, and he's a veteran also from the Marines. So shout out to, you know, Jamel Heron fighting on the weekend of Veterans Day. So let's break this fight down. First and foremost, these are two good friends, and they're sparred together. Like, they really have a nice, great relationship, so it's really no bad blood, and nobody wants to kill somebody, but I think it's more of a, of a respect from both fighters. I'm not going to say the camps, but I think the camps do respect each other, but I really believe the fighters really do respect each other, and I believe that they both want to win. Harry is trying to move on. You know, and go with greatness. You know, he has Bo Mack, which is Terrence Crawford's trainer now, and the other trainers that um, train with Crawford. He's training out of that camp. Roach, you know, he's looking to define the odds and move forward and continue his undefeated streak. So, with Roach, what he has to do, he's going to have to apply pressure, but be slick with his pressure. He's going to have to use that right hand to set up a lot of shots with hearing. Hearing is open a lot of times. He's moved back. His When he moves backwards, he's not moving correctly backwards. So he's like off balance. So Roach needs to actually work the right hand, trick him. Not only land the right hand to his head, land it to the body. Land it to the body. You only have a two-inch reach. Um, Heron has a two-inch reach over Roach. That's nothing. Roach can move in and move out. He's three inches shorter than here, but that don't mean nothing, though. Um, you know that straight left is um, is something that he will actually try to shoot at um, Roach, Herring will. So Roach needs to always move out of position so Harry won't get a chance to land that um, straight left. So as far as Harry, he needs to use his reach, utilize his reach. He needs to make sure he's not applying too much pressure. But he needs to land two or three punch combinations, two or three punch combinations, work upstairs, downstairs, work upstairs, downstairs. Try not to go back too much because I know the fact that he has trouble fighting backwards sometimes. But I know Roach has good enough speed to make up when he's moving forward. So I believe Heron should give Roach some lateral movement, you know, creating different angles. And at the same time, spinning out, spinning out, spinning out. Heron should spin out to his left more so that that left straight left is going to be right there all night for him. Because if he's trying to spin out to his right, Roach straight right hand is going to be there. I don't see nobody knocking nobody out. I see this fight going to a decision, and I think it's going to be a majority decision. It's going to be a close fight. I believe Heron will win on two scorecards. Um, Roach will win on one scorecard. It's going to be a... Um, a majority or a split decision. Um, like I said, I don't think they're going to try to go off of, go for blood. Herring has been knocked out before, and he's been dropped already. Roach has never been dropped or knocked out. So Herring needs to be very careful because that chin is a little suspect for Herring. I mean, Herring needs to, be, um, needs to be very careful because his chin is suspect. So Roach, be on the lookout of, you know, landing deep punches and, you know, when he catch him off guard. But Roach, at the same time, needs to apply pressure 
you know, maybe he can, you know, sway the judges, but who knows? So my prediction, like I said, is hearing. I think hearing will win, you know, by majority or split decision. That's how I see this fight going. Let me know what you think about this fight. If you're going to watch it, who you got? Post your comments below. Hulk smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support and donate to the channel, I have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, peace.